Okay, so today we're going to talk about filters, the high frequency filter and the low frequency filter. And this is a little learning or teaching aid I came up with, uh, actually initially to teach myself or to help myself conceptualize the uh, often intimidating world of EEG filters. So hopefully this will help you as well. And if you'd like to, while I'm going along with this lesson, if you want to draw out yourself and kind of write out what I'm going to do, uh, grab a pen and pen, or excuse me, a pen and paper, and uh, we'll get started. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line, a straight line all the way across. And what I'm going to put on this line, or what this line represents, is the spectrum of all frequencies that we should expect in an EEG, meaning, uh, you know, from delta waves to, to alpha to beta to even gamma, uh, 60 hertz interference, anything you would see in the EEG uh, initially, or most importantly, cortical or brain waves, but also, uh, you know, um, contamination and artifact like muscle, which 50 to 70 hertz is its frequency. So we're going to put on the far end here, we're going to do 100 hertz. And this is just, a, again, a spectrum of all the expected uh, frequencies that the EEG electrodes will pick up during an EEG. 100, 70, 50, so we're kind of going back, 30, and 15, ran out of room there, and 5, and I'm going to write 5 twice here, and I'll, you'll see why in just a few moments. Okay, we're going to go the other way, so five, keep going down, let's say three, one hertz, now we're getting really low, 0.5 hertz, make my line longer, 0.3 hertz, 0.1 hertz, and 0.05 hertz. So this is a good representation of the spectrum of uh, frequencies we should expect to see on the EEG. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to essentially create a triangle. And let's start with our filter setting at the default setting for most uh, EEG acquisition units. That's going to be one. So let's see. Just kind of arbitrarily, we're going to place a mark here about in the middle, halfway down this line, the spectrum of expected wave frequencies. Now, our first setting we're going to do for our low frequency filter is the, the default of one hertz. So let's just draw a line here to one hertz. Okay. This is going to be our low frequency filter, wherever this goes to. Now, for the high frequency filter, of course, you know it's 70 hertz is the default, so we're going to draw a line to 70. All right, so this line right here represents the high frequency filter setting. And this line right here represents the low frequency filter setting. So as you can see, you could change it, the low frequency filter to three, to five, the high frequency filter. And at least for Excel Tech Natus EEG software, the low frequency filter has a setting of five and the high frequency filter has a setting of five. For the high frequency filter, that's the lowest setting. And for the low frequency filter, that's the highest setting. Anyway. We've drawn our triangle. Anything inside this triangle is essentially, or is protected from the effects of both the low frequency filter and the high frequency filter. So any of the frequencies you see above one hertz, 
up to 70 hertz. Now, we do need to note that whatever a filter setting is, for example, if you have a high frequency filter setting of 70 hertz, what that's telling you is it is going to attenuate, significantly attenuate, a 70 hertz hypothetical wave by about 30 percent. And that's arbitrary, but most acquisition units and the neurology world tend to agree that about 30 percent is the point at which you start to uh, risk the danger of not being able to make out the true waveforms. You're attenuating a little too much. So 70 hertz setting, high frequency filter, will attenuate this 70 hertz wave just a bit. But I'm talking about mainly inside the wave, generally. This is all protected. Now, again, this is our low frequency filter setting currently, because this line goes to one hertz. Anything one hertz and to the left is going to be affected, is going to be filtered. The further down it is, the more it's going to be filtered. Over here, anything higher, 70 hertz or higher, including 70 hertz, because remember, at that setting, it's attenuated by 30%. Set If the uh, high frequency filter was set to 50 hertz, it would attenuate a 50 hertz wave by 30%. Coming back to this, so we have our line going down to 70 hertz that represents our high frequency filter setting. Anything above 70 hertz will be indeed affected by this setting. Anything within this triangle we've created is protected. Now, let's say that you have a patient in the ICU and they have FERTA and you want to accentuate the slow waves. You want to increase their amplitude so you can make out the morphology a little bit easier. All right, we're gonna change our low frequency filter setting. Why? Because we wanna expand this triangle. We wanna make it to where it's going to protectively include the slower waves we'd expect, maybe 5 hertz, 0.5 hertz. You know, some FERTA can be super slow. Right now, it's being filtered. So let's erase our low frequency filter line, and we're gonna redraw it to the five point, excuse me, to the 0.5 hertz wave. Now, as you see, the, the old line was here, right? Now you're including all this that is now protected. So now you're protecting slower waves. As it stands right now with the low frequency filter setting at 0.5 hertz, it will still attenuate a hypothetical or you know a real 0.5 hertz wave by about 30% because that's the setting and that's exactly and directly what that means. So maybe we want to go a little more. Maybe we don't want to filter 30% of a 0.5 hertz wave. So let's go down to 0.3. So we're going to draw our line, kind of a rough line here. But as you can see, now that 0.5 hertz is entirely within the protective triangle, and we can see it on the EEG better. You've extended the protection of being out of the filter's influence. Now, in regards to the high frequency filter, let's say you're doing a SPECT procedure, okay? And you want to inject on electrographic evidence, meaning, let, you know, who knows, maybe this patient's seizures are so subtly in regards to the clinical presentation that you're not going to see some oral automatisms. They're not going to be tonic clotic. Maybe they're just going to be non or subclinical. But yet we still want to inject, right? Well, if this patient has a lot of muscle, that's going to really cloud and add a layer of uh, noise and visual noise and artifact over what we're looking for. Let's say, for example, uh, left temporal, left temporal onset. Well, T3 is going to have a lot of muscle artifact, especially with this stressed out patient, because of the temporalis muscle. So let's 
trim down some of that muscle. Now, muscle runs, it varies, but uh, for this example, it's safe to say that some muscle or a lot of muscle has a frequency of around 50 hertz. So we want to we want to affect that 50 hertz. We want to change our high frequency filter. Right now, it's protected. Right now, we're not able to, to trim it out. If we drew our line, our high frequency filter line to 50, we would not be filtering as much as we need because now the high frequency filter setting is 50 hertz and we're only attenuating about 30% of it. We want to do more. We want to see this uh, this subtle left temporal theta onset. Well, theta is not going to be affected by 50 hertz filter, is it? Or even 30 hertz. So we want to attenuate that 50 hertz filter more. So we're going to scoot over our line and we're going to go down to 30 here. Here's our new line. Now anything outside this triangle where it stands now is fair game to be filtered. As you can see, even 30 hertz waves getting down slow, not 70, not 50, but a little slower, even 30 hertz waves are going to be filtered. 30 hertz waves, since the setting is now at 30 hertz, they're going to be attenuated by uh, about 30%. If you look over on the top right, all that means is if you have a wave and from the peak to the very bottom, let's say is 10, we'll just use some arbitrary units, millimeters. If you're attenuating it by 30%, you're chopping off the top three millimeters and you're only leaving seven millimeters. So about right there, so your new line or your new wave would be like that. It'd be a lot shorter and less spiky. So a 30 hertz wave here would see about 30% attenuation of its height or amplitude. Now going back to our uh, spec patient, we have the current high frequency filter setting at 30 hertz. We're definitely gonna be getting rid of some muscle because we've moved this filter, we've narrowed the triangle so that only the protected part or part, protected wave frequencies are within this triangle. You see now that it's, it's smaller, there's less here. Well, let's say that this patient is rocking their head back and forth in the bed. They're, not only are they tense and have a lot of muscle activity picked up in the T3 and T4 channels, but this rocking activity is creating a let's say uh, three, eh, let's say about a one hertz artifact, a one hertz wave rolling across the screen. Well, we certainly want to filter that out, and especially for this spec procedure, because, uh, you know, we're the patient's waiting on us and expecting us to inject when they have the seizure, and we want to make sure that we can manipulate these filters to maximize our chances of seeing the uh, theta activity we're looking for. So we want to get rid of this one hertz. We want to filter it down. If we were to put the low frequency filter setting at one, so we'll just do a quick line here just so you can see conceptually, you would attenuate a one hertz wave by 30%. But as we slide this up towards three, the more this moves to the right, the more you're going to filter waves outside of the protective triangle. Key point, the more you slide in regards to the low frequency filter, the more you slide your low frequency filter line here to the right, the more intense you're gonna attenuate the slower waves outside of the triangle. So we're gonna do our new low frequency filter setting at three. All right, now three hertz we're gonna attenuate by 30%, but as you can see, one hertz is more than 30%, so very significantly attenuated. So look how narrow, this is a narrow band, bandwidth that we're allowing to come through. Only the frequencies, the wave frequencies within this triangle with a high frequency filter setting of 30 and a low frequency filter setting of three will be protected from your low frequency filter and high frequency filter. 
So now we filtered out the muscle, great, and we filtered out that artifact. Now on your boards or just in general to try to conceptualize this, on a test or an exam or if you're just wondering or a physician asks you, as you adjust the low frequency filter setting, think about it in regards to this triangle. Draw out your frequencies which essentially represent your wave frequencies of all the low frequency filter settings within your software and you see five twice because that's in the low frequency filter and high frequency filter um, options at least within the Natus Exeltech EEG acquisition software. And what you can do is play around with this triangle. So I'm going to start drawing a Sharpie because I have done a lot of erasing here. Uh, so we're going to go to our initial settings again. So we're going to kind of this dot's going to be in the middle of this line basically. So our uh, default setting of the high frequency filter is uh, 70. The default for the low frequency filter is 1. On a test, they ask you, well, what will it do to slow wave activity if you raise the high frequency filter? Well, if we raise the high frequency filter setting to 5, now you draw the line to here, and here's your new triangle within this pink. So it's narrower. And since you moved from here, from one hertz low frequency filter setting to five, you've basically allowed more to be affected by the filter. Your protective triangle is now only this within these pink three lines. These are the only frequencies protected. So as get something with a straight edge here. So as you lower your frequency, low frequency filter setting, you lower it, you lower it, you lower it, you go all the way to 0.1, now you see that you've really included almost all the slow wave frequencies you would expect in an EEG in your protective triangle. So this is a very inclusive setting. If you were to change your high frequency filter setting to 100, slide this over here, now you've included more high frequencies that will not be affected by filters. Your protective triangle is now much more inclusive. As you decrease your high frequency filter setting, you narrow that protective triangle. As you increase your low frequency filter setting, you narrow that protective triangle. So you can see how manipulating both sides can affect the, uh, the surface area of your protective triangle.